Hi friends, welcome back to God of Gizmos. My name is Satish Kumar Purswani. Today we are going to talk about Spring Web Flux, or also known as Spring Reactive, or it is Reactor Project as well, and also known as RX Java. So there are plenty of videos and theory articles available on internet about RX Java and Reactor Project. Uh, but in this video, we are going to talk about this Spring Reactive in action. So basically, two entities are there, uh, which are most frequent, frequently used in Spring Reactor uh, Reactor Project. Uh, that is Mono and Flux. Okay. So we are going to talk about Mono and Flux in action. So let's get started. So for uh, creating a Spring Reactive project, you have to go to start.spring.io and this is the website that I have already opened on my uh, browser. Then you, have, you will have to select Maven project if you want to go with Maven and Gradle depends upon your choice and then depends upon the language that you want to use. I am comfortable with Java, so I will be using Java and the stable version is 2.5.3. So I have selected that. You can give whatever name you want like i've given my channel name and then the project name is react uh, i've given that and you have to go to dependencies and you will have to look for spring reactive web component so this is what you need okay you have to click on it and see uh, this for spring web flux and netty is the server that is being used for uh, reactor project and you will have to click on Control enter or click on this button. So this will download a file uh, in your system and you will have to extract that and import that in your IntelliJ, which I have already done for me. Okay. Now what we will do is uh, we will start with Mono first and I will tell you what is Mono. So Mono is basically uh, just you can say contains one object. It can be an object or it cannot be. So there are multiple ways that I'm going to tell you. So Mono is just you think of like this is Mono is which can contain just one object or one entity in itself. And uh, it can be like integer or string or list of objects, but list is just one uh, object in itself. I will show you an action. And another is we will talk about flux, which can contain multiple objects. Okay, and uh, it can be list of or uh, an objects objects itself like one, two, three, or it can contain a list such as list one, list list two, and so on. Okay, so let's get started. I will tell you how to use Mono first. So Mono dot. So there are uh, two to three ways to create Mono. Okay. So uh, we will be using uh, and I will be showing you all the three ways or all the two ways that are there. So mono dot just is one way where you can create uh, an object uh, of mono. Uh, just a second. So this is like if we say string, let's say God of Gizmos and we say one. Okay. This mono object of string. So I will say mono of uh, God of Gizmos. Okay. And you can, if you want to now print this object or you want to consume. So there is a subscribe in which way you can consume this object. So you can see there are overwritten methods in subscribe as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, I hope that you have gone through uh, what is reactive before uh, coming up to this video. Okay, and I will be going with just the consumer implementation as of now. Let's say O and O dot. Let's say we are we can directly say system dot out print ln. Okay, and uh, this is just one way to create a mono object. There are other ways as well, like mono.create you can use uh, mono.create and uh, 
mono dot empty returns an empty object so what i will do is i will try to run these uh, uh, together i will first write the code for you empty mono okay and then we will subscribe empty dot mono subscribe and we will try to print okay sorry okay now uh, there is one more way of mono but that never returns anything so this is called mono dot never okay and uh, i will say mono never mono okay we show you the object and we will see this and i will tell you about the differences as well of subscribe and we can say let's copy this, this okay now uh, we will run let's this is out Sorry, so I'll I'll say we are executing mono dot never over here so that in the console we get to know what is the particular output is for okay and uh, this is asynchronous in nature so it might happen that one output is printed before uh, the another one so we are just making sure we are trying to make sure that this does not uh, we are, we don't get confused mono with string okay or mono with just is, be is better let me run this for you okay Sorry. so i'm running this for the first time that's why it is taking a bit longer okay so now you can see mono dot uh, you can see that mono dot just is printed okay so after that our uh, reactor util logger has logged okay and then we have god of gizmos one printed then we have mono dot empty which is printing nothing okay it is just printing this statement which we have given motor mono dot empty and then there is mono dot never which again prints nothing because uh, we just have this statement and uh, there is nothing else printed so you will say what is the difference then what is the difference between mono dot empty and mono dot uh, never okay so let me just uh, start the logger to enable the logging for this particular uh, like mono flux you will have to use dot log and uh, let me comment out the first one because we have already seen the output for the first one now okay and we will be executing mono dot empty and mono dot never now let me execute this again see now the difference is when you are printing mono dot empty you can see there is a on complete method coming in and when we are printing for mono dot never there is nothing comes in so there is no values coming up okay so uh, the difference is there is an event that is coming in on mono dot empty which is on complete and you can handle that accordingly okay on on subscribe so we say what is let me just if you go into the subscribe method okay mm -hmm. there is another method which is for error consuming and if you see there will be for completable as well okay for completing okay so i guess the third one is for completing let me just remove this okay complete consumer yeah this is the, th the third one that i'm looking for is the on complete one so we will try to print that 
okay let's say system dot out print ln okay now um, double colon so i'm doing a method reference passing method reference and this for passing throwable so if if we have any error we can log that error okay not sure okay logging is not working so what i will do is i will print it out i will enable the logging in my next tutorial okay now what i can do is the third object okay this is my on complete okay complete method file okay what i will do is i will end this okay there is no error and i will copy paste this in uh, never as well so that we get to know what is going on and this for never so that we get to know this call, getting called for never and this is getting called for empty okay now i will execute this again for you see when we are printing for mono dot empty it is getting printed complete method called the empty one so in mono dot never that is not printed ever so this is the basic difference or uh, uh, between mono dot empty and mono dot never now we will move ahead to mono mono flux okay sorry not mono flux uh, flux itself and we will keep this aside keep the code aside and i will try to give you all this code on github as well so no worries so let's move ahead to next method i will create one more method over here at the red test okay testing test flux okay now in mono uh, you can pass actually mono dot just and you can pass new list itself list is a single object new error list okay okay and it will work fine okay but in flux you can do do in similar manner okay dot just and still you will be able to do it like this by adding uh, okay so in mono dot just you can uh, add an array list like this and in mono uh, in flux dot just as well you can add array list like this but the basic difference is you can add multiple array list like this but in mono if you are going to do like that you will get an error so you can see because this contains only just one item whereas mono dot uh, flux dot just can contain multiple items okay now flux can be uh, flux can be again be created by flux dot just and flux dot empty again in similar manner and flux dot never okay and there is one more uh, which is pretty much very much used in uh, day to day life that is flux from iterable okay so from iterable will what you can do is uh, from iterable will uh, get the collection uh, or list i will i will show you that uh, let's say list a or list let me just import this okay and i will say arrays dot as list and i will say a i'm sorry yeah then b then c and you can add any more items if you want and in the list you can add this as a list so we are aware about what mono empty does what mono never does uh, in the similar manner flux dot empty works in a similar manner flux dot never works uh, but i will i wanted to show you about flux dot from retrieval 
okay flux uh, let's say the list or flux of uh, words not words flux of uh, alphabets okay now what i will do is i will subscribe to this flux and i want to print i want to print whatever uh, influx is coming in okay now let me just comment out these methods and let me execute it see each and every alphabet is being printed okay so hope you now know what is the difference between mono and flux this is just the basic introduction video that i have created uh, to introduce you with what is mono what is flux and what is spring reactive and spring reactor or reactor project so uh, going forward i am going to take uh, one more topic in my next video so stay tuned subscribe to my channel and do hit, hit the like button if you like this video thank you